Infrared heat is totally different to the kind that you normally get from normal radiators. And because of this, they require a different approach in terms of how you use them. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to maximize the heat from your infrared heating panels. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've got the right number of panels. It's a super easy calculation to do. All you need is the length, width and height of your room in meters. And you take these three numbers and you multiply them together. This gives you the cubic volume of your room in cubic meters. Then, depending on how well insulated your home is, you need to take your cubic volume and multiply it by 25 for well insulated homes, by 30 for moderately insulated homes, or by 35 for poorly insulated homes. The resulting number tells you roughly how many watts of infrared heat you need for your home. Or you could just use the calculator on our website and that'll do all the hard work for you. Then you'll need to think about your room and where your panels are gonna go. This is what's known as maximizing your heat map. Let me give you an example. If you have an L-shaped room or a particularly long room, you'll want to take your suggested wattage and split it across two or maybe even three infrared heating panels so that you can spread them out across the room. And this means you won't get any cold spots in your room. Next, you have to clear any obstructions that might be in the way of your heaters. See, with normal radiators, you can get away with putting stuff in front of them, not with infrared though. The space in front of your panel has to be clear. Although, the fact that you can mount your infrared panels high up on the wall means you can't really put anything in front of them. Simply put, the more your infrared panel can see, the better it will be at heating your room. And finally, you'll want to make sure that you're putting your thermostat in the best place. Or to be more precise, whatever is measuring the temperature of your room. So for example, if your thermostat is right next to your panel, where it is right next to the source of the heat, it's going to think that your room is way warmer than it actually is. And it'll switch your panel off before you even get a chance to get warm. So it's best to put your thermostat in a place that best represents where you're going to be in your room. So for example, if your temperature sensor is in your actual thermostat, maybe place it on the wall opposite the heat uh, somewhere in the middle of the room or if your temperature sensor is on your remote like in our next gen or nexus wi-fi ranges it's best to keep it on a sofa or on a coffee table somewhere near you so those are the four best ways of getting more heat from your infrared heating panels let us know which one worked best for you down in the comments below and if you're not sure how to maximize the heat from your infrared heating panels just give our team a shout on 0116 321 41 or send them an email to sales at surreyheating.co.uk. You can follow us on socials too. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Just DM us the word heat and let's have a chat about your heating. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.